fitter than a hoe, fitter than a hoe, fitter than a hoe, fitter than a hoe, fitter than a hoe. Need I say more, goddammit? Shout out Full Crow. <coughs> Why you shouldn't take anything too serious. A spiritual perspective. Disclaimer though. Um, as I do with every video, this is not promoting or condoning you to take this shit to an extreme and completely not give a fuck about anything and not take anything seriously. Obviously, with all the knowledge you get from anybody, whether it's me or somebody else, you take it into your life and apply it to your life at a certain percentage level. So when I say why you shouldn't take anything too serious, keyword, any two, why you shouldn't take anything too serious. I didn't say don't take anything serious because you do got to take shit serious to a certain degree. Now, with that out the way, let's get into the topic. All right. So notes. First point. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. This is beyond you as an individual. What I mean by that? Okay. Yes, we create and shape our own reality and lives and lives, but we can only do it to a certain degree. Because that's just how this reality works. Um if you could just will anything into your desire like that, then you would be able to do any fucking thing. You would be able to fucking, I don't know, like manifest from your mind some fucking material or some shit. Like literally, like 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 imagine some fucking uh, money and then it comes right into your hands or whatever the fuck. You would be able to do some fucking magic and make shit poof out of thin air, like right there instantly. And um, that's more of the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, aka the the frequency, vibration realm, and all that shit. I mean, we can do that with our minds and shit, but and internally, but we can't do that physically, externally like that. You feel me? It's not instant. So you can, to a certain degree, manifest whatever the fuck you want, but the process of it in the world that we're in, in this more dense 3D. It just takes longer for shit to actually manifest if you if you if you know how to do it right or in it or if you don't know what you're doing but just so happen to be in the right energies to do so you feel me but um but beyond that though whatever is meant to be is still meant to be and what what i mean by this what i'm pretty much saying is some uh, most of the time as spirits we go down a path expecting to, to for shit to come out a certain way for us to live a certain life but the reality is whatever you think at, at the current moment may not be what it really is um a lot of a lot of us are here to learn well damn well you're gonna always learn no matter what realm of reality or or level of life or where level of awareness you have you're always gonna stay expanding and learning more about yourself and life um so that 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 could play out in this too you you may think that you 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 here for one specific purpose little do you know it's for you to learn some other shit and realize something and we're all here we're all here for things like that to a certain degree like i said we're all here to learn mixed in and combined with you know all the shit we set out to do for ourselves using our free will and shit so it's never real my point is you whatever you whatever how whatever you think right now is how is what it's going to play out to be nine times out of ten is going to be something else or an altered version of what you thought but never quite exactly what you fucking think and why i say nine times out of ten it's ten times out of ten it, it, that's usually how that's, that's how life really goes if we always knew what the fuck was going to happen moment by moment, step by step, life wouldn't even be life. It would be some robotic game. It wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be how it is right now. It would be like some robot type shit. 
um, and we wouldn't even and there would be no such thing as like like time and new experiences and new outcomes because everything would be stuck in some sort of same cycle which that's not what this road is about all possibilities infinite growth expansion and contraction what y'all humans call god that shit is forever infinitely expanding so with that being said since everything since everything is never fully how you think it's going to play out and there's always a certain percentage level of randomness you have to acknowledge the fact that whatever is meant to be is meant to be and it might not be how you think it's going to be at the current moment and this automatically is beyond you because spirit is here to to, to uh whatever spirit intended is what it's going to fucking be so you can only play out as the smaller representation a smaller space within a bigger space of that if you don't like the word spirit and you're more science with it you can only play out a limited possibility of what all possibilities is to the fullest that you possibly can aka us in these human forms trying to do the fucking shit we do and this is and this is still beyond you like i said you, you can't you can't shape and bend the world, the world to your reality and your will like that this world wouldn't even be able to be stagnant. It would be too much constant change of opposing imaginations from other spirits and shit. Like, that's more four, fifth, and sixth dimensional shit. That's more, uh, yeah. I'm not good. I'm not gonna get too deep into that. That's not what this video is about. So, you shouldn't take, um, since whatever is meant to be is meant to be, and it's beyond you. Let's tie this back to the title now. Um. With that in mind, why would you why would you take anything too serious? If you know that shit is gonna play out how it's gonna play out regardless. You see what I'm saying? So there's no point or reason to take anything serious once you enlighten yourself to that point and, and once you have that awareness. You feel me? Like because at that point you know you can only do so much as an individual um and that's part of what we're here to learn as humans too so keep that in mind we're here to all here to learn to let go to a certain degree because we all got lost in our desires and then landed in this retarded ass masonic ass world that y'all take too serious but i'm gonna tell you right now serious spirits don't take this shit serious i mean i mean serious spirits don't take this shit serious <laughs> And that leads me to another one of my points. Um, look at the world. A serious spirit can't take this shit serious. Only non-serious spirits take this shit serious. What do I mean by that? If you truly spiritual accountable and you did all the shadow work you had to do as a spirit and you learned everything you could possibly learn from a frequency perspective as well so you could have a big awareness then you are a serious spirit because you you came into this world not knowing shit you took your spirituality serious you took your awareness serious you took your state of being and vibrational state serious enough to actually want to learn how, about the world you're in and maneuver through it so that way you don't let the external affect your internal too much you therefore are a serious spirit yeah it may suck that we got to be aware of of this harsh reality and all the retards that we live amongst and all and all the retarded ass confusion that people are in but guess what they're not serious spirits let them be lost in the matrix and and and, and fucked up ass state of beings as they as they go about their daily lives not knowing shit or never make making the decision to be like you know what i want to take my spirit serious i want to know what i am where i'm at how this shit works how it became to be like this and everything and then i want to also be accountable for my state of being i don't want to let this job always flunk me out i don't want to let other people put me in a state of being. i don't want to over attach to certain shit they don't do that though so you as a serious spirit you can't take this world serious it's another thing I have to say, like, how how are you going? That's like, all right, let's bring it into a 3D example. If you was if you if you took your spirit serious, you are what we call a spiritual adult. You took spiritual accountability, right? Let's let's make this a 3D example. As an adult, if a two-year-old or a three-year-old that you don't have to be accountable for, and this is the the two-year-old or the three-year-old is 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 an allegory for the world. This two-year-old or three-year-old is the world we live in. And then there's you, the, the spiritual adult. 
or what we're supposed to be. Are you this three year old or two year old comes through? You're having a good ass day. You just chilling, minding your own business. But then this two year old or three year old comes through like, shut up, ugly face. You suck. You ugly. You got a poo poo face. Are you going to take that serious? Because <laughs> that's how it is for me. Every time I'm in this world and, and, and some shit tries to throw me off with the motherfucking big ass awareness I have, man, I brush that shit off because I know, man, I, hold on. I, I, I remember where I'm at. I know where I'm at. This world ain't shit. So why you getting mad at the world as a non-serious spirit, aka someone who's not a spiritual adult yet, you still let the world, aka this two-year-old or three-year-old, flunk you out and throw off your internal state of being off some weak shit, some fucking uh, uh, kindergarten name-calling shit. And it really do be like that. Now you might be thinking, no, now you might think, okay, obviously, certain things in this world that we react to are serious and we gotta like go through it in a more harsh way and we can't just brush it off like that obviously i'm uh, but i'm talking about shit that you can brush off like that you feel me shit that all right for example you being late to work who gives a fuck unless you unless unless you are on the verge of getting fired from doing that too much you see what i'm saying it, dep it really do depend on what you're going through my point is you this is the whole point of the video. You shouldn't take anything too serious. So there's certain things that we go through in life that throw us off or get us flunked out. And it's equivalent to the example I just gave of a two-year-old or three-year-old calling you an, a caca poo-poo face. You feel me? Like some of the shit we go through really ain't that deep, yet we still let it get to us. Um, shit, what's the, let, me, let me come up with a, a, an exa some examples of what that could be. I don't know, some shit like some shit like somebody cutting you off on the road. We could all relate to this, right? Or somebody does, does not drive as uh, good or whatever, and they do some dangerous, stupid shit. Yeah, we're going to react and get mad to it, but, but, or you're going to react to it. Like the, the three year old or the two year old, you might react to it like, like, what? Okay, Jit. Like, we can re, you, you may react to this retarded ass driver that damn near hit you or, or 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 damn near pushed you off the road had you not honked your horn and shit um yeah that that you're gonna get mad but to linger on that for over a certain amount of time that's when you letting it get to you that's like the, the three-year-old or the two-year-old you 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 reacting to it and you're like huh what what what'd you just call me you call me a, a caca nana boo boo face oh, oh hell no i can't believe you just did that like and this two-year-old or three-year-old is the representation of the fucking retard that just cut you off and almost crashed into you or almost made you uh almost drove you off the lane but you're still driving you're still fine it's not like they fully crashed you into you or anything right so that's just a spiritual child being a spiritual child you don't have to cling on to that so much now if they would have made it worse and they actually crashed into you okay that's a more more serious situation but I'm just using this as an example, a 3D example, and you can uh, use any 3D example of whatever the fuck. If it's something you could brush off and you don't have to like give it too much energy and shit, then don't do that. You feel me? Over time, you will get better at that if you take your ser spirit serious enough and you do shadow work. You will, you because the thing is, you don't want to let just because that driver is a is not a spiritual adult and they're like a little fucking ch spiritual child even though they're like probably 40 years old but their their spirit is stupid and young as fuck just because they they did that and and they're dumb you don't got to let that ruin your state of being for the next hour just let it ruin your state of being for like 5 minutes you feel me it don't got to be or not and it, or shit i don't even like letting it go 5 minutes i let shit shit like that it would probably be for me like probably like two three minutes i don't know depends if i'm in a good really good mood maybe a minute you feel me it depends on the alignments and how you feel at the, at the time too um and also your own natal chart but and your spirit and how and, and your and where your spirit is uh spiritually speaking awareness wise and all that shit so everybody's going to react differently but you want to minimize how serious you take certain shit okay like 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 a lot of people really give too much power and they give away their power to like society and they don't want and and they 
they don't want to be seen as someone who's not serious or they don't want to be seen as someone you can't take serious why though uh, it's just a bunch of bots it's just a bunch of man-made mason programmed men and women so why the fuck do you give a fuck about what any of these motherfuckers think or feel towards you in this matrix 99 percent of these motherfuckers don't even give a fuck about themselves because they ain't even they didn't take their spirit serious enough to realize the retarded ass world that we in so we could all change it together because that's the only way it's going to change but since they don't do that and they want to be sheep they want to be slaves they want to be retarded they want to focus on things that 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 has nothing to do with real shit like what i'm speaking now then this is what you get a non-serious world because the world only reflects the internal of, of, of the majority in it. And the majority in it is non-serious spirits. A lot of these spirits don't even know they goddamn selves yet. And these, and these motherfuckers, 50, 60, some of these motherfuckers die like that. And end up reincarnating and, and doing the same shit for a whole other lifetime. Never getting to, figure, getting to figure out their own spirit or taking their own spirit serious. Why? Because they take this 3D physical too serious. They too busy caring and worrying about, oh, how I'm seeing my status, uh, Saturn shit, Capricorn type shit. Oh, oh, how I'm seen amongst my associations and shit, uh, Aquarius type shit. Oh, how, this, how society sees me. I, uh, oh, I, gotta, I, I can't look a certain way. I got to make sure I look a certain way because I don't want people to think a certain way or feel a certain way about me. If I'm just being me, they're going to judge me. Oh, I'm... Who gives a, you sound like a weak ass insecure ass spirit like you haven't found yourself enough yet or you're not a strong enough spirit yet because you still or you haven't took your spirit serious enough yet because you still taking shit outside of you too serious I don't get I don't give a single fuck what anybody got to think or say about me you know why you know why because I know that nine times out of ten 99 percent of the fucking time it's a spirit with a smaller awareness than me so how I'm going to look as a spiritual adult getting mad at any fucking human for whatever the fuck they self project on me. That's my whole fucking point. Why you shouldn't. This is just one point of why you shouldn't take anything too serious. That includes the whole world. If you a strong ass spirit, you don't give a fuck what the world think about you. Now, I don't agree with everything this motherfucker be saying. And he is flunked out on a lot of shit or the way he goes about shit, at least but you gotta respect yay a little bit just because he don't give a fuck what anybody and i like that you see i respect that more than a a spirit in hollywood who's too insecure about oh, oh but this person's gonna think that and this person's gonna feel like this and this person's gonna think that about me shut the fuck up you insecure bitch ass spirit you shut the fuck up anyway another point so do you want to spend a large percentage of your life and time in the energies of being free to enjoy the moment being you? Or do you want to put yourself in the energies of unfulfillment, expectations, and investments into things that are beyond your control as an individual, aka you using the mind for things it wasn't made for and it's draining yourself? What do I mean by all that? The more percentage you put into giving a fuck about the external and what others think about you and pressuring yourself and, and, and then putting expectations on yourself because of what the world put, puts you, uh, makes you think you got to put expectations on, investing into things and just energies of unfulfillment because you're never satisfied. You're always looking for like um, for something to happen in the future. You can never be satisfied with being free to enjoy the moment now why because you, you you take shit too serious you you pretty much like you you like subconsciously you are unfulfilled and you're doing it to yourself and you don't even know it and it's because of all the expectations and investments you put into things and it's also because of you also taking other people's expectations of you too serious and shit like that as well and then and and, and and a lot of people see this is when you start to use the mind for shit is not made for you start to think oh what if this person thinks this about me or thinks that about me? But in reality, that person probably don't give a single fuck about any of the shit you think about. It never even crossed their mind. They just chilling, doing dumb. But just because they made a certain uh, body movement or body language, you you mistake that as some as something against you. But really, it's just something else. That and that's just one example. Like you feel me? Like y'all, you start using the mind for shit is not made for or 
if you want to get into your own personal life and you have too much expectations for yourself and you in, and you put in way too much investment into the physical and things outside of your own spirit not taking your spirit serious but taking the physical more serious um this is when you also could be unfulfilled because and and this is also when you start to use the mind for things it's not made for because instead of taking things how they come at the current moment and then doing this infinite dance with with the universe or what y'all what y'all humans call god and shit um or or uh whatever the fuck um when you doing this dance and you moving about your life and shit and and you reacting moment by moment while being in the moment there you're in a different state of being from somebody who's at most of a large majority of their percentage level that's level of their time and energy is going into instead of like reacting moment by moment this person over here is is too busy in their own mind not even present with the current moment fantasizing or or or, or, or over desiring certain shit and certain expectations to play out like um i always bring up the ex the movie example of someone who has a clear clairvoyant mind can enjoy and get the most out of the movie versus someone who's in fucked up state of beings and thinking about shit in their life that they can't even focus on the movie i always bring that example up but you also miss opportunities in real life because you not being present in the current moment people could see that and that and then it's like a weirdo energy or it's like an off type energy and you can even feel it yourself if you dive too much into that shit so you might even miss chances and opportunities to connect with people because people could see you are lost into your own world and you take shit too serious you're not light enough to be in the moment and enjoy the moment as it is you're taking shit too serious within yourself of what you expect for yourself and you probably getting too anxious about certain shit um always constantly thinking about oh man how am i gonna how am i gonna uh get more money or how am i gonna uh uh, uh pay the bills uh and, and and be able to save up enough for this or that or how am i gonna uh, uh manifest this or manifest that like constantly it is putting yourself in a state of being of wanting energy and that's why why you never manifest in the first place because you're not in the having energy um so yeah like you can't enjoy like like you take to, to, in a certain way to a certain degree you can't take sh you, you taking shit too serious you can only enjoy the moment um and and get and get the most out of each moment um if you don't take shit seriously to a certain degree you feel me like it's got to be like an equilibrium with that it got to be like a balance you don't want to uh dive too much into the serious energies um aka earth and air and 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 fucking mercury and saturn and all this shit shit that's uh so y'all want to just make sure that y'all light and free enough to actually uh oh shit hold on let me hit this shit uh, hold up i want to hit this real quick Y'all want to make sure y'all actually light and free enough to enjoy the, the moment and get the most out of each moment and you can only do that if you don't take shit too serious you gotta don't even take yourself too serious fuck how people see you if you are naturally a goofy spirit or a light-hearted funny comedic spirit that's you believe it or not there's spirits out there who will like that because you are being you how you're supposed to be how it's meant to be and there are spirits out there that fuck with your vibe but just because maybe a majority of people don't fuck with the uh uh or maybe not even say let me not even say that just because some people don't fuck with um your specific vibe and shit don't mean you got to put pressure on yourself and take yourself too serious and try to change it now nah, if you lighthearted by nature and without even trying too hard and that's just how you are how you be without you even trying you be that you're not supposed to be like oh this per this this person's uh 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 looking at me weird like like i'm crazy or something oh, let me let me let me fix my face let me uh, at that point you're just giving your power away you're taking shit too serious all right another point real quick this is all temporary might as well not give a fuck now that's another reason why you shouldn't take anything too serious and this that's kind of obvious everybody already knows this shit none of this shit is permanent this fucking body is temporary 
So why take shit too serious when everything that you have and are aware of at the current moment in this human vessel, it ain't even permanent. Eventually, you're going to die. And you're going to move on, on to the next, on, on to the next, on, on to the next, on, on to the next. Free, somebody give me back some money, please. On to the next, on, on to the next. Oh, yo, shout out, shout out Hova. He want to he wanna be, he want to be Jay Hova, but I don't know, I don't know what's up with him. And I'm off topic, I'm not going to go into all that. Uh, anyway, 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 <laughs> this shit is temporary. Um. So, when you are aware of that, there really ain't no reason or point into overstressing or, or taking shit too serious to a certain degree. You feel me? Just that, that's, I think that's self explanatory. I don't got to really go too deep into that. You feel me? That's obvious. We all know that this shit ain't permanent or temp. So, really, though, what is permanent, though, is your spirit. So, take your spirit. If you are going to take anything serious, take your spirit serious because that shit is forever eternal whatever the words you want to use it's always been it's always is it is what it is blah 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 and we all well we all became aware at our own different points amongst the overall space or the overall uh biggest space all possibilities spirit what y'all humans call god whatever the fuck even though it's not a being um we're all just becoming aware in our in our own times and our own ways within that um but the bigger spirit or the but the, the thing is though time worked differently because i'm not going to go into that. that's a whole other topic but i was going to say pretty much other spirits could outgrow other spirits by taking their spirit more seriously you feel me like you can have some spirits that been stuck in the same cycle the same human cycle for a long ass time eons eons and then you had brand new spirits out of brand new spaces get born and expand and contract and pass dumb and now they're a bigger spirit, but they still suck in the same cycle for eons because they take this reality too serious. And they become, they become so fixated on this cycle that is damn near impossible to wake this spirit up. This is your every, these, these are your bots, your NPCs, um, spirits that just have no type of spiritual awareness, think, and they're most likely atheist or scientific or whatever the fuck. Um, and, and those religious uh, mentalities and shit. Yes, I said religious. You heard me right. Um, they limit their minds too. Yes. Um, yeah. That they're so these spirits. They done took shit way to, so serious to the point that they may never be able to expand or contract out of that cycle and get a bigger awareness. And actually, they they took this physical and they took their 3d or their physical or their little cycle no matter where the fuck it is whether it's in this reality or a different reality somewhere else they took they got so attached to that cycle and took it so seriously that you have spirit they've been there for eons and you have brand new spirits taking their spirit more serious than they do and they expand contract faster and outgrow them so now they're like technically the older spirit but that's a whole other topic i just wanted to go a little rant on that um let's get back to the, t the main topic um, all right, so and this is the last one. Uh, last point you block yourself from getting in tune with your spirit to achieve equilibrium, and you slow down, slash, limit your spirit's expansion and awareness when you take this physical too serious. Oh shit, yeah, I just I already described that. Oh shit, okay. Well, damn, I was already, my spirit already knew what to say. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much what I just said. But I guess that's the written version for you. Um, so to uh, uh, elaborate on that, for example, um, like I said earlier, you actually learn a lot. You can learn the most, I swear you can learn the most from being just in tune in the moment and being with clairvoyance and being with spirit you feel me i swear you can learn the most and then you and then you get to reflect on it later after the experience and you learn even more later after reflecting on it you can't do that though if you constantly taking shit too serious 
and you take yourself too serious. You got to make sure you look a certain way and you take the world too serious. You got to you got to meet this expectation by this certain age and all this shit on your mind, all these pressures in your mind. Oh, worrying about how other people f view you, worrying about um, your status, but from a Masonic point, man made point of view and, and, and just all this shit they programmed y'all to take serious. Like the more y'all lost in those energies, the more you block yourselves and blind yourselves from the moment which has so much god so many goddamn um things you could learn from and 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 see opportunities from and 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 just get in tune with your spirit and really expand that shit so much y'all put y'all put a blind eye to that shit and y'all block yourselves from that shit and this is real shit because this is what every person who i mean every spirit who limits themselves to a certain degree whether it's frequency wise through a certain mentality religion or or a or a philosophy or or science or atheism and those are religions too any any limited perspective they doing that they literally doing that with their spirit right now they're like no i don't want to grow no i don't want to expand my spirit no i don't want to see more all possibilities i don't want to see what could be more i don't want to see uh, all the opportunities and things i can learn i don't want to see what could be meant for me and what's beyond me um Oh, I got a message from uh, the electrician. They're gonna fi fix the light. But anyway, yeah, I don't want. I don't want to see. I don't want to see uh, all this growth. I don't want to be open my uh, cognitive dissonance, pretty much. Cognitive. What the hell? Plumber. I don't got no plumbing issues. Anyway, they do that. Oh shit! Hold up. Hold up. Somebody calling me. Damn, she threw me off. She threw me off. She called me. She threw me off. I was on a way. I was out getting at a point. I still remember the point though. Um, she, they they can't throw me off. You know, you know the opposing energies and, and and little frequency demons can't throw me off. I'm still on point. I'm a Mercury baby. I got all the knowledge within me. In my mind, in my Mercury chakra. Anyway. So yeah, they're like no. No, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to see my own spirit. I want to take. The, I want to take this. I want to take this reality more serious. I don't want to take my spirit serious. I want to take the Masons more serious. I want to take. Um, <laughs> I want to take this religion more serious. <laughs> I want to. I want to take science more serious. <laughs> I want I want to take a I don't want to take myself serious. I want to take what Albert I I want to take Albert Einstein more serious. I want to take Neil deGrasse shit Tyson shit grass Tyson more serious. I want to take I want to <laughs> that's what they do. I want to I want to <laughs> No, nah, fuck myself. No, nah, I, I ain't shit. But this person is. This person knows everything. You see how religious and retarded these spirits be, like in all levels and shit. Even scientists and atheists, motherfuckers. <laughs> like, I want to take this person who came up with atheism more serious. I, I, I think I want his spirit. I want to take his spirit more serious. I want to take his his idea more serious. Fuck my own making my own idea. <laughs> fuck making my own perspective. I, his perspective is more serious. Like that's what y'all do from a frequency perspective. And then from a vibrational perspective, it's like insecure spirits. Like, like they don't do that with the mind. They do it with the heart. So they're like, they just, they're just weak. So they're like, oh, this person sees me this way. Or this person might see me that way. I don't want them to see me that way. I don't, I don't want to feel vulnerable. Um, um, let me not take my own spirit serious and not strengthen. Let me not go to the esoteric gym and, and, and not give a fuck and learn how to not give a fuck and just, and just be me. I don't want to do that. I want to keep my spirit uh, weak and I gotta, I gotta be in my safe space. I need my safe space. Don't say, uh, don't say those words to me. La, 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 la. I don't want to hear la, 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 la. I don't know. No, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear your truth. I don't want to hear your perspective. No, no, no. Jesus is king. <laughs> some shit like that that's what that's that's what they do from a vibrational perspective so they, they don't want to feel and they don't want to feel threatened you feel me fuck making sense to them you just don't they, at that point for them it's just their feelings and shit um and then this is how they get y'all in their stupid ass politics politics is the 3d physical version of their man-made religion where they keep y'all at polar opposites uh logic and feelings versus each other and but it's all still underneath like their worldview of the masonic created man-made world i mean they got y'all fucked up so in so many different ways i'm i'm once you become whew, whew, 
I'm telling y'all, like, when you reach a certain awareness, you have no choice but to look at this shit. I have no choice but to look at the world like this world ain't shit. I can't take this world serious. And that's coming from a serious perspective, a serious spirit who knows how the motherfucking world works. And it ain't that complicated. Everybody can know how this shit works. They just choose not to go that deep. Because why? They don't take, they don't take it serious enough. Or they're mentally lazy or spiritually lazy, whatever the fuck like or just too lost in a desire of something that they want to give their power away to like i was saying earlier so they take this shit too serious um now yeah so with y'all doing that y'all 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 pretty much block yourselves and stagnate yourselves or y'all drag your own feet really from from just uh, changing your 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 attention and your priorities getting that shit straight and focusing on what is actually real and what matters y'all don't since y'all don't do that y'all miss out on so much shit that would be so beneficial for y'all and would be the best for y'all like all possibilities is like hey here y'all go y'all say y'all want to develop your own personal relationship with what y'all humans call god but it don't look like that to, to spirit because y'all copying always copying motherfuckers you ain't developing your own personal relationship with shit as long as you as long as it ain't if it ain't if it ain't created from your own awareness so with that being said or or if it ain't at least clear enough in a, in a perspective where anybody could understand it and is not dogmatic at least do that shit spirits and you ain't a, i can't take you serious if you ain't doing that you're like a spiritual child to me that shows me you haven't even thought of half the shit i've thought of you haven't even felt half the shit i felt because if you would have you would have had no choice but to come to certain conclusions and this is how bigger spirits look at smaller spirits this the, the the spiritual adults this is how we look at the spiritual children um and you know what uh so yeah i think i'm gonna end it like that um the ones who don't take their own spirit serious enough they they reap the 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 what they sow or they uh what's that what's that fucking quote or phrase um um they bear the fruit they yeah they they get they, they bear their fruit that's the fruit they bear so the state of being you currently in right now if you take shit too serious or if, I mean, if you're taking shit too serious that's outside of your spirit and you're not taking your spirit serious enough, because by default, automatically, once you take your own spirit more serious, when you decide to make that conscious decision to take your own spirit more serious, that's when you have no choice but to not take the rest of the world more serious. You can't. It, it, it's an oxymoron. Like, in order for you to take your spirit more serious, you got to not take the rest of the world serious at all at all because the world is designed and constructed in, in this matrix to to keep y'all from doing that to keep y'all from even accessing your own fucking power that y'all don't even know y'all got um so with that being said that is that's the that's the times we in right now either you a serious spirit who got your power right fucking now or you a non-serious spirit and you still trying to act either you tr or there's actually it's actually a whole spectrum there's three there's the serious spirits who already got their power there's the non-serious spirits who don't want to access their power and then there's a, a spectrum in the middle of spirits who are trying to access their power so i'll cut y'all the ones in the middle i'll cut y'all some slack because at least y'all because at least y'all trying but for the ones that ain't trying at all y'all ain't shit and y'all following demons and all possibilities don't know your ass because you don't you don't want to know it and that's why i called it all possibilities you don't want to expand your mind or your point of view or your or your way of seeing life to all possibilities infinite infinite ways of looking at the same shit y'all motherfucking humans try to point to but in your own limited ways that's not being with all possibilities that's just y'all following a, a demonic ass dictator spirit who don't give a fuck about y'all and i'm gonna end it like that take your spirit more serious and stop taking the shit outside of you more serious in your own spirit take your power back god damn it <laughs>